It's Ellen. She's folding up some clothing, probably putting her laundry away. Wait a minute. That's Virginia's dresser. She's opening. Why is Ellen rummaging around in our roommate's stuff? I haven't made a sound. She doesn't know I'm here yet. Okay, wir könnten sie jetzt einfach fragen, was sie da treibt, oder wir könnten Virginia holen. Hm. Da ich sonst immer das, diese Option habe, werde ich jetzt einfach mal nach Virginia gucken. Auch wenn das ein ziemlich arschiger Move ist. I don't know what's going on here, but if Alan is poking around in our stuff, Virginia deserves to know about it. Luckily, she's not hard to find. I can see her down at the end of the hall. I start to rush over to her and then change my mind and try to move more quietly so as not to attract too much attention and end up doing a sort of bunny hop down the hallway. There is... Shh! Come with me and don't make any noise. I grab her hand and drag her back to our doorway, where I point inside. Ellen is now pulling a notebook out from under Virginia's bed. What are we looking at? She's going through your things! Why would she do that? Okay, she's trying to steal your notes, she's trying to steal your money, she's trying to steal your underwear. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you keep anything weird in your dresser? Jewelry? Magic wands? Pet frog? No, why would I? Well, you grew up a witch. I don't know what sort of things you might have. Maybe she's curious too? That is silly. Oh god. Hi, Ellen! Oh! Um, hi! What are you up to? I was just cleaning up in here. Oh, you're the one who's been picking up after me. Huh? I thought we had brownies or something. William never said anything about room services, but he's pretty neat normally, so he might not have noticed. Doris here saw you opening my drawers and thought you were spying or something. Um, Jetzt fühle ich mich richtig wie ein Arschloch. It's okay, you were just looking out for me, right? Virginia puts an arm around each of our sh shoulders, pulling us into a sort of group hug. That's what rooms are, <laughs> roommates are for. So, you're not mad that I moved your stuff? Why should I be? I hate cleaning. Mom always does it for me at home. <laughs> When I get my own place, I will probably turn into a scary monster cave full of junk unless I find some real brownies to take care of it for me. Irgendwie klingt das rassistisch, oder? Ich meine, sie ist halt selber farbig, aber irgendwie weiß ich nicht. I guess it's all worked out then. Regina is too messy and Ellen is too neat, so together we just write. I am awakened early on Saturday morning by a tap at the door, followed by a faint hissing sound. What's going on? I stumble out of the bed to find that three envelopes have been pushed under the door to our room, each marked with one of our names. Hey, money's here! Your stimme wird immer männlich, habe ich das Gefühl. Each envelope contains five dollars, the weekly spending allowance for IOS Academy students. Five dollars! I'm five dollars per week. If it's our money, why can't they just give it to us all at once? I guess they don't trust us not to spend it all at once and then run out and complain. Well, that might teach people to plan ahead. This way... Oh God. This way still teaches people to plan ahead. If you want to buy anything really cool, you've got to save up. But you're missing the important part. It's Saturday and that means a trip to the mall. I didn't think you were a shopaholic. I'm not, but it's great to get out and look at something other than school for a while, isn't it? Also, they have ice cream. Ooh. And penny candy. Ooh. What's penny candy? I have keine Ahnung. Oh, oh, is this... Penny Candy, ist das, ist das so wie was wir früher hatten, als es noch nicht den Euro gab und Sachen noch nicht so teuer waren? Wo man beim Bäcker noch für 5 Cent oder für 2 Cent so Süßigkeiten gekriegt hat, die den alle in so eine Tüte gestopft haben? Kennt ihr das noch oder bin ich schon zu alt? Das war toll. And really big cinnamon, cinnamon cookies and... We get the idea. Since I've been there before, I can show you guys around. 
What about studying? You have plenty of time for that during the week, right, Doris? Go to the mall. Sure, I would love to go to the mall with you. And have penny candies. Great, Ellen. I guess it's okay, but you ought to have a good breakfast before you look at ice cream. Yes, mother. <laughs> good morning. Students are lining up outside the school, waiting for a free seat in one of the shuttle vans that travel between here and the local shopping center. Come on, we can we can ride together. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is it? Still in uniform. So, <laughs> when people stare at us because we're all wearing capes, with Pferden drauf? <laughs> nah. Just act natural. It's no big deal. But it's nowhere near Halloween. Since the teachers aren't saying anything, I suppose this is what we're supposed to do. Yeah, shopping mall. Homemade coffee memories. Okay. Was gibt's da hinten noch? Definitiv irgendwas Japanisches? Oder Chinesisches? Hm. The mall is not very large or very crowded. Nope. Definitiv gar keiner da. At least where, where I'm standing, witches and wizards easily outnumber shoppers in ordinary clothes. But no one reacts to the sight. I guess if, if students come here all the time, they get used to it. Okay, that place does coffee and pastries. This one. They have fresh fruit and that one does baked potatoes. There's a gift shop, there's a cafe. Wo es bestimmt auch coffee and pastries gibt. <laughs> Are all these stores magical? Nah, there's only one magic shop here. They sell wands and stuff. I'm going to get a chocolate croissant. What about you? Ooh, es gibt eine Game Kate. Hihihi. <laughs> okay, wir könnten was essen gehen. Wir könnten in den Magic Store gehen. Es lohnt sich aber jetzt noch nicht, weil wir zu wenig Geld haben. Wir könnten einfach nur Windows Shopping machen. Ohne in die Games Kate gehen. Ah, Games Kate. Wir müssen dann Stress ein bisschen runterkriegen. Uh -huh. There are only a few old style video games with joysticks and buttons here. Most of the arcade is filled with racing games, dance pads, claw grabbers, things that give out tickets for prizes. And a surprisingly large collection of pinball machines. Yeah, die hier überhaupt nicht drauf zu sehen sind. Oh, ich will pinball spielen. Most arcades I've been in only contain one or two pinball machines. Even though the small isn't very big, they've got a row of six games and four of them are being played already. There's a big guy in Irish Academy uniform whacking up multi balls on one end, but despite his impressive score, he keeps on scrolling. I keep my distance. Bouncing shiny things around into flashing lights is fun. Stress decreased by five. Nice. On Sunday morning I sleep in. There aren't any school activities today that I know of and I haven't made plans with anyone. So there's nothing else to do. It just makes me realize I miss my family. I'm not used to being completely out of contact like this. There aren't even any phones in the dorm so I can't call home. Dad promised he and mom would write but I haven't received anything yet. Du bist erst seit einer Woche da. Meine Güte. Maybe they were too busy on the first day or the mail was slow. I'm sure I hear from them soon. No phones, no computers, no television. Doesn't matter much during the week when I'm busy with classes, but on a day like today, it leaves me feeling restless. I think I will go outside. <laughs> yeah, warum nicht? The beautiful campus. Nicht so wie bei mir. Weil einfach mal, es gibt einfach keinen Campus, weil es ja eine Hochschule ist. I'm careful to stop when I want to admire something, rather than keep walking and risk another collision. But while the flowers and paved walkways are nice, what I'm really looking for is something a little more open. I follow the path away from the main building towards grassy fields. We could play games out here if we borrowed some balls from the gym. I wonder if Virginia was serious about starting a sports team. Hey, I think I see her up ahead. She's talking to someone I don't know. I hurry to catch up. 
Was die Götze kennt, ist hier, isn't it? Yeah, wo ist mein Roommate? Ah. Ja, ähm, wäre auch komisch, wenn nicht. <lacht> I pause in mid step. What is she talking about? Me and Ellen? That could be a problem eventually. And then I both had wild magic. Is that the problem? Nein, natürlich nicht. Well, maybe more of us should drop out. The other way should be more fun. Maybe for you it would. Oh god. The winged girl laugh. What on earth are they talking about? Is das nicht offensichtlich? Frauenüberschuss ist immer eine schwierige Sache. This is silly. Spies never hear anything nice. I have no idea what they're discussing and I shouldn't try to figure it out. I will only come up with crazy stuff. I'm just going to walk away. Sinnlos! At the end of the week I get the chance to organize my thoughts and my belongings, as well as review the spells I've learned so far. Okay, dann kann man hier nochmal Inventar angucken. Wir haben nichts im Inventar. Wir könnten jetzt speichern. Dann in unserem Diary das nochmal festgehalten, von wegen. Wir waren in der Mall und nichts passiert. <lacht> Suspicious. Und ja. Nicht wirklich spannend. Spellbook, wir können gucken, was wir schon mal können. Und natürlich nächste Woche. Ich mache hin. Morning, Assembly. Once again, we're all called to the gymnasium for thing Monday morning. Only this time, there are even more people here. Is this a meeting of the whole school? What for? I asked Virginia if she knew what this was about, but she just grinned and said she couldn't tell me. Yay. Someone steps up to the podium, but it's not a teacher. Oh, it's William. <laughs> ich weiß es echt nicht mehr. Also wenn ich irgendwie irgendwelche Stimmen zusammenwürfe, ist mir ist jetzt, jetzt auch egal, oder? Good morning, everyone. My name is William Danson and I'm your incoming senior class president. Hat ein bisschen was von seiner Schwester, ne? But for the next week, half of you will be calling me Sir William. Welcome freshman initiation. A magical initiation ritual? Before we start, I'm required to give you some safety information. Nothing that happens this week should cause you physical harm. If you're ordered to do something dangerous, or that you know is wrong, please go to your teacher immediately. Now all you freshmen, please line up. One at a time, come up on stage, announce your name and where you're from, and receive one of these initiation handbooks. Okay? Students dutifully shuffle along, announcing themselves one by one. Wie peinlich ist das denn, eh? Some of them I've already met. Some names are new. Suki Sato, Jamal Mir, Pastel Rayo, Luke, and Logan. Pfeiffer? <coughs> Keine Ahnung. Then it's my turn. After I state my name, William hands me a stapled together paper booklet, inside a bunch of rules and a list of all the members of the senior class. Complete? Black and white pictures and full names. According to this, we are, we, are, we are required to memorize the names of all the seniors and throughout the week we have to address them as sir or lady, whatever. And there's more. And there's more. <laughs> we have to memorize a silly poem and recite it on command. We must never show our backs to a senior. We must never be taller than a senior. We must always respond to requests with. Wait, William, William is at the podium again. I have to listen, okay? I will tell you later. <laughs> now that well, as well as serving and honoring the entire senior class, each of you will become the property of one particular senior. Klingt gar nicht gut. Klingt echt gar nicht gut. Your senior is your master, your best friend, your worst nightmare and your only protection from the rest of us. Stand and wait and we will choose. He steps away from the podium while the refreshment look at each other nervously. Das ist so wie früher am Sportunterricht. Wenn die Teams äh, gewählt wurden. Richtig zum Kotzen. He steps away from the podium while the refreshment. Ja, hatte ich schon. The seniors start to move around the room, poking and prodding 
and calling out orders. You go. Your turn is in me, freshman. Get down on the ground. Don't turn away from me, freshman. I see your back. Oh, was für eine Arschlöcher, ey. Und genau deswegen gibt es sowas nicht bei uns in Deutschland. Glaube ich zumindest. Nicht. And then I end up kneeling back to back and watching as the sharks circle. You. Oh god, oh god yeah. I look up to see a strange boy standing over me. Very strange. Even Pastel, the girl with the fairy wings, look mostly human. Ah, oh, leider kriegt man auch wirklich immer den Typen. According to the list of seniors, his name is Damien Ramsey. What is he? Lois Gardner, I think you should be mine. Um, okay. Stand up. <laughs> But then I might be taller. It's alright, you're with me. You don't have to worry about the rules if I am with you. Only what I say matters. Und ich habe nur ein Auge. Wie du sehen kannst. Here, take my hand. I will help you up. Okay, nicht dass nachher er klebt. With Damon's help, I climb to my feet. Oh, er hat doch zwei Augen. Come on, I will walk you to the door. You need to stay by my... By me, until you're out of sight. <laughs> also, also seniors are... Oh. Ich merke gerade, dass meine Stimme langsam weggehen, ey. Then you can plan the rest of your week in peace. What happens for the rest of the week? More of the same, mostly. They will boss you around when they see you and make you say embarrassing things. Then on Friday everyone hugs and makes up. Okay. Don't let this distract you too much from your studies. You need to learn if you're going to keep up. I would suggest studying blue magic this week. Is that an order, sir? Just a suggestion. When I give you an order, you will know. I will turn up to give you some instructions later in the week. I wouldn't be doing my job properly if I didn't give you at least a little bit of a hard time. He grins and brushes the back of his hand against my cheek. What? Soll man deine Pfoten wegnehmen? Good luck, Doris. <laughs> das klingt so lächerlich. With a wave, he leaves me on my own. So, what should I do this weekend?